Hive Marina, Hive Marina, Azimut 43, over. Azimut 43, Hive Marina, good morning. Uh, Hive Marina, Azimut 43, can we have an inbound lock, please, over. Azimut 43, hi, yes, permitted, I'll set the gate to you now. If you'd like to come forward on the green lights, over. Uh, Hive Azimut, all received, many thanks, out. So having called the lock, I've just got to wait for the lights to go green, which means they'll set the gates ready for an approach. There's a stiff breeze today, so that makes it all slightly interesting. They've got the gates opening already, which is good. I'm not allowed in until the lights go green. And around locks, you've got to be really conscious of the wind. Quite often, if the wind is across the lock, it'll blow across and push you on the side you're not expecting. So if the wind's on the port side, you often end up berthed port side too, if you have a choice. The lock here is quite narrow, so the wind funnels through. So I need to drive in positively so we don't lose control and keep that bow under control. OK, so I'm just coming up to the lock entrance now. It's really important that you drive the boat positively in. So I went neutral just before, back into gear now, and I'm aiming at the far gates and driving the boat straight down the middle. If you kind of look to the sides, you find that you get suckered into them. So just keep your vision forward quick glance, make sure we're equidistant, and then as soon as we're positively through, back to neutral so we start to lose speed. And I'm just now thinking about, I want to go port side too, so I'm just going to start to slow the boat a little bit. And I'm actually going to have a little bow thruster, just so we get the bow exactly where we want, and I'll control the stern with the helm. So a little bit of helm to port, a little click of star with the stern. And then same as we've done all along, I'm looking sideways so that I am going to be stationary as we touch the gate because we don't want to land on a corner of the boat. Kieran's got a line exactly where I want so that's good news and you'll see as we touch now we're absolutely stationary, fenders are on now, Kieran's got a bow line so now I can go and do a stern line. So in this lock all the lines hang So I'm just easing myself in slightly. I really want this line at the stern here. Nice slimy line, we like that. We're going up in this lock. So what we're going to concentrate on is, as the boat rises, we're just going to take the slack in each time. Gates are closing behind me. Once they close, the sluices on the front will start to open, and up we come. On this lock, we start with underwater sluices, which throws the boat back slightly. And then as the water hits the door behind me, it's now pushing the boat forward. I've got the line gently on the cleat, and I just keep bringing the line in as we rise. Happens quite quickly. There's another little bit of slack for me. And if I want, I can just ease to reposition the boat, take a bit more slack in. All the time, I'm just referencing what's happening. Now we've risen a fair bit and the water level inside and out is getting closer. They start to pinch the gates open a little bit and there's stop marks on the lock so you don't go too far forward. As that comes in, it's a little bit interesting because the boat can bounce around a bit. It's not too bad today. Just see the gates starting to open. Okay, we're nearly at the top. Gates have opened a bit more. And the absolutely crucial thing when going to do is once the gates have opened we're going to wait till all the movement of the water has stopped before we drive off otherwise you can get yourself in a right pickle so just keep your boat nicely positioned Kieran's hanging on that bow line there nice and safe and as you come up in the lock you can feel it's a bit breezier as we've raised you can see here on the side there is a red mark that's where the lock and the marina normally sit and between those two marks where the blue area is is when they do a free flow so that's when they open the gates you can just drive straight through generally though they'll cycle a bit of water each time to keep the lock fresh and the marina the other side so gates are fully open water stopped moving 
I'm going to let this line go and I go back to the helm. Got the roof nicely open, makes it easy. Okay, off with the bow line. And then first thing I'm going to do is make sure the thrusters are on. And then same as when we left, I'm going to make sure that I drive through the hole positively. So I've just brought it out with a little bit of starboard ahead, get the helm straight, out we come and keep the boat moving because if you slow at this moment, any breeze which is across the lock as you come out will catch your boat and make it go where it wants rather than where you want. So nice and positive through, as soon as we're two thirds through, back to neutral, just let it glide. There we go. And that's the lock. There it is behind us, gates are on red for anybody coming in.